Hello everyone. For my first episode today, I would like to share a bit about myself with you. Since childhood, I've been fond of traveling and exploring new places. My memories of holidaying with my family are the most cherished ones. And the places that I couldn't visit always intrigued me. So I started traveling virtually and I and came across many countries and cities that I haven't ever heard of even. Also, while exploring these cities and countries, I realized that many of us tend to mispronounce the names of the cities and places. A few of them are Singapore, but usually we mispronounce it as Singapore. Singapore also known as the lion city or the garden city is one of the 20 smallest countries in the world made up of chinese malay and various ethnicities makes it a unique blend of culture and people living harmoniously together another country with a very unique pronunciation is liechtenstein it is a german speaking 25 km long principality between Austria and Switzerland in Europe it is quite famous for its wineries and vineyards it uses swiss franc as its national currency very famous country is iceland and the capital oh my god people have so much problem remembering its pronunciation so it is reykjavik famous for its rugged landscapes and scenery Northern lights, blue lagoon, volcanoes, glaciers and waterfalls tops the list of must-sees. It is also known as the land of fire and ice due to its contrasting landscapes. Isn't it amazing what all you discover on this planet? So many countries with different geographies, cultures and lifestyles. Another East African country with a very unique pronunciation is Djibouti. Djibouti city is its capital and is one of the warmest and driest cities in the world. Official currency for Djibouti is Djibouti franc, also DJF. Another city that is pronounced with more syllables than it looks like it would be Edinburgh. It is not Edinburgh but Edinburgh. Talking about famous tourist spots, how can we miss the famous French Riviera? Rich in history, architecture, heritage has quite a lot to offer its visitors, including possibly the best market in France, and the three most popular cities are Nice, Marseille, and the famous place for film festival, the Cannes. So I hope this was helpful and let's catch up again soon. Bye for now. Aarti Gidwani Chatrat here. Hello. I aim to help people develop their confidence and portray themselves more effectively. I'm a specialist in voice and diction. Please join me in learning how to pronounce challenging words smoothly and naturally. For young and old alike, My teaching strategies are simple and enjoyable. It says, कुछ बातों का मतलब कुछ मतलब की बातें क्या मतलब